how are you? I'm fantastic, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I have to ask you, the theme of this outfit is so cute. I always have to start <laughs> with like a nice break. I'm gonna start with the outfit. Oh, thank you. Well, this is just an, um, Lane Bryant little party dress that I ordered on the internet <laughs> is um, not that special, but it's I think it's very cute and I'm trying to be springy. I'm trying to like force spring to come because right. in Seattle it's still winter and uh, it rained here today in LA, so something's wrong. You need to put it out there. Also, was the hair manifest. manifest? Was the hair intentional or? I did not intend to match my hair to my dress. Right, that's what I was wondering. I kind of forgot that this was my hair when I threw this dress in my bag. Um, uh, so, no. I just am a, um, a forgetful person who pays no attention to what's going on with my head and body. I, I really want to talk to you about the show, but I have to say, how do you keep the dress intact when you fit it in your bag? That's what I want to know selfishly for myself. Oh my God, okay, well. <laughs> do you have like a steamer, like a pocket steamer or something? No, but I'm, I, I live in Seattle and I'm just here in LA for this. Yeah. And so I'm staying at a hotel and I have to say, that in a beautifully feminist moment, my husband ironed my dress for me while I was getting my hair and makeup done. Okay, I can go give up on dating now, thank you. <laughs> okay. uh, what was your favorite part about working on set? I mean, being on set's really fun, yeah. and uh, like way more fun than I knew it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. And I really think that there's something that I didn't realize about how dedicated film and TV crews are to their jobs. There's so many people who are working so hard, and thinking about things on such a high level, every single detail, making sure that everyone's safe, making sure that everything is running smoothly. And it was just really beautiful to watch so many competent people care about something so hard and like really nail their jobs. And obviously the show has a very like, I can't cuss on this, can I? No. Oh, can I? I don't give a fuck mentality. <laughs> so I want to know kind of, <laughs> I'm going to get killed for this, but you know what, at this point I don't care. Um, what, what, how does it speak to you? Because, you know, to me, I mean, who cares about me? I want to know about you. Oh, I mean, the, you know, I just made the show that I needed when I was growing up. Yeah. And so it's been... Um, Obviously, I've already sort of done this journey earlier in my life. Yeah. That's what I wrote the book about, and that's what we made the show yeah. about. But I definitely learned through making the show that yeah. the, I still have further to go. Like, you're never really yeah. there all the way, and there's always more room to grow. And it was super empowering to make the show, you know, and to be around all these, like, amazing women and to be having the opportunity to put these ideas out in the world and hopefully help someone who is like me 15 years ago. It was just really beautiful. And what is the, the dynamic like of, you know, being talent, but also being on the production side and on the writing side? How does that work? Because, you know, we're used to interviewing people who are mainly just talent. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm, I don't know if I do count as talent. I'm not in the show, I just... Oh, wait, I, I know that. I know oh, okay. That, but you, but, but you, but um, the, the main character, I meant dealing with talent. Oh, dealing with talent. Yeah, dealing with talent that is also the writer. Oh, and I is, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it's luckily incredible. Like, I, yeah. I mean, we couldn't have lucked into a greater group of people. And uh -huh. A.D. Bryant, who plays the lead, is a true genius and an angel. And um, I'm sure there's... A version of this show where everyone is a demon and that but that's not the show that we made <laughs> so it was just like a really beautiful collaborative creative process that I loved every second of a favorite behind the scenes memory that you can share with us um gosh I mean in the writer's room we had probably one to two full-size cakes per week <laughs> which was exhausting but very beautiful I mean that's like a really special way to live. It's great. Yeah. It sounds awesome. I need to change my career. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, you can. You know, you can just order a cake anytime you want. Like, just start living that way. You can do it. Bobby, where's my cake? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Thank you. Thank you.